Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bunker Down series. So we're getting into some more create in this episode. One thing I need to get that I didn't think of, actually a couple things, I'm going to need all of these alloys. I'm going to steal this and this. That's my power armor down there. <coughs> I need the motors. I'm going to take that because I have to run electricity. I'm not using a motor for anything over here. So that's fine. Uh, give me some logistical transporters. I swear we had more motors than this. What did I... Oh, is it still up here? No? No, I had a third one. I don't know what I did with it. No. 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 I'll take some brass scaffolding. Just for decoration purposes. I doubt I'll need any kind of pipes or spouts. I do need a basin. And some chain drives. I was working on making a mixer when I quit before. Because I didn't have the setup to make plates. Okay. Uh, there was something else I needed. Chain drives. Chain drives. Do I have any andesite alloy in here? I don't, but I do have enough andesite. I can make some more. Bam. Okay, that should do. I'll do ten more. And that should be plenty. Because we need these for chain drives. I've also, I've discovered zombies can spawn in this base just because it's so big. No, give me those back. What does a chain drive take? Just iron nuggets. Okay. What I'll do... I'll bring the stuff to make it because I don't know for certain that I'll need it. I'm definitely gonna need... Let's see. You, I want to take this, I want to upgrade this to diamond. That, okay. I have conveyors and I have belts. Really... I'm also going to want a double chest, which I think I put up there as well. I'm going to need some hoppers of various kinds. Let's go with ten of those. And for now, I'll take this factory hopper. Hey, uh... Okay, then. And I'm infected, even though I've already turned that feature off so that can stop happening. God damn it. 
Every time I go to start doing something, I get infected. <clears throat> I done grabbed everything I really care about out of this. Let's just let that be running, and I'm going to dump my inventory and die. Later. Okay. I will be right back after I've cleared this infection. Okay, we lost all of our experience again, but that's done. So, the first thing we have to do here is we need to run power over to this room. And I'm thinking the best way to go about that is probably going to be to just tap straight through this wall. So let's break this and let's get a power line out here. Good God. Okay, that's actually perfect. I can run the power straight through the wall here. There we go. Now let's do a little bit of laying out here. Let's do some... Give me some of this, give me that, give me some glass. What did I do with the crushing wheels? Oh, God. Don't tell me I, like, put them in there and they just went into the trash. No, my fucking... Okay, no, here they are. Whew. I was about to get real mad. <coughs> okay. So to start with, let's build a very basic frame. Let's go one higher. That will be for the crushing wheels. Actually, let's go a little higher than that, maybe. I wish I didn't have to place every possible fucking block. Okay. That's a little much, so we'll go right there. Let's put these bad boys down. Nope. Okay, they have to be one further apart. No, 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 they have to be just... That is, that is correct. Okay. Now, they need a motor and power, which I want to hook up on the back side. Let's, uh... What the hell? I keep... I fenced that in and closed the entire area so no mobs can get near this place. I'm gonna fix that. We'll be right back. Let's continue now. You know what? I brought some things to make it happen. This is the perfect time for chain drives. What did I do with the parts? God damn it. Casing, iron ingot. It's not a crafting table. Oh my god. <sighs> what 
We'll need two more of these to do that. We'll need that and that. Okay. Now we have three encased chain drives. Let's go bam, bam, bam. Okay. I can have one motor right Good God. So much crap. I'm I'm in peaceful because I'm sick of seeing all the mobs sick of listening to <laughs> We have four motors somehow. I'm gonna need shafts and I'm gonna need belts. I want conveyors. I also didn't think about the fact that I'm going to need an encased fan if I want to do it with those. Maybe not, though. Maybe not. So let's first start by raising the ceiling a little bit. I love that I hear the zombies even when I'm in peaceful. I'm about to disable the end of Hero Brian. Because I'm sick of looking at him. That's fine. Okay. Now. This is where I wanted to use some of this bunker steel. Fucking gobagoo. Okay. So, get rid of those. Bap, bap, bap. And this right here going to be the path the items move along. Why? What the hell? Why the hell is it placing like that? I'm not... There. Okay. With that, there's the most basic part of this crushing mill. Now, Motor, cog, shaft, belt. So, right here, and fucking I have to find a way up now. <clears throat> this is getting infuriating. Okay, so, right here and right here, why did you place that direction? There we go, this one, no, don't fucking do that! That's not the direction you need to go! 
I'm gonna lose my shit trying to make this goddamn thing. Give me some steel. This side. Oh, that's not gonna fucking work. Right. Okay, so that side. That has to be conveyors. This side. That. Why? I didn't. What the fuck? Why are you doing that? Why? There. Okay. Now a cog there. And a cog there. And a shaft there. I'm going to have to take a break so I don't fucking pass out from the goddamn stupid shit happening. There. We need to run a power line to this. That will run both of those. Okay. Now... You know what? I'm taking these off and putting this back on and see if that fixes it. Okay. You? Why the hell do you place that direction when I'm putting it on this block? There. Okay. And you now have to drop down a block into conveyors going this direction. Bam. Okay. Let's put the glass face. Actually, let's do the glass only on the top half there. <sighs> of course, now that I, uh, now that I get rid of my fucking multi-jump, I'm trying to do it. There we go. Okay. Now. We need... A funnel... On a chest. With a... Okay, now, bam, we need a factory hopper, bam, we need to put you right there, okay, there's that, this will be our final output, for our input here, we need shoots, how do we make these? Really annoyingly, that's how. There we go. Okay. Shoot. And we need barrels. We don't have barrels? That's fine can make them. I'm out of fucking wood. Okay. Bam. 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 Let's go with that. Okay. Now, I think if I, nope, okay, have to go the old way. I hate playing on mouse and keyboard so fucking much. Okay, if I do this, I 
don't have shoots with me. If I do that and I put a shoot on it, or funnels, just like that, it'll pull the items out of this, put them on here, this will push them over here, they'll go over here, down into the grinder. Okay, there's that done. Now, for this part, I'm just going to have a double chest hooked up to some logistical transporters. gotta remove that connection. Okay. Set you to pull. Now anything we put in there should go up there. Let's give this system power. Let's also fill in this hole in the wall. trying to route this in a way that the cables are not going to be in my way if I try and build anything. Oh my god. Okay. There we go. It needs to run straight over all the way. From there, we go straight down over to the motor. Okay, now real quick, I'm going to make a little offshoot building. This is a place where I can edit the motor speed. That's all this room needs to be for. Oh, they have to be on different motors because they have to turn differently. Oh. Okay, I think I know of a way to work th work around that. I need three of these. Let me cut out the chain drives. One's going down, one's going up. They both need to be going down. Okay, so... <sighs> what if I get a chain drive gear shift? Electron tube and a chain drive. Okay. And I'll need a redstone torch now. I'll put my backup sword away and my backup pickaxe for now. Now let's see if this gear shift can connect to this. So I don't need that whipping that fast. I can set this to like 50 and be fine. Okay, 
So, chain drive, chain drive, gear shift. Okay, now what if I put a torch right under it? What if I do that? Down and up. That's not right. Hello? What am I not picking up here? Okay. Oh! Oh, that just speeds them up! Interesting. So... Does a gear shift do what I need it to, then? Relay rotation in a straight line. Okay. When powered by redstone, it reverses. So... How do I get a gear shift? We just need a piece of redstone. Conveniently... Chuck that in there. No? No? Okay, of course not. Oh, wait, they're not grinding. Oh, create's so confusing, man. Bam. 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 Okay. We have a gear shift. This is the this is not the way. It's not the way. I need to make a staircase up. So. Bam. Bam. Case okay, chain drive. Adjustable chain gear shift. Gear shift. Chain drive. Where's my wrench? I need to rotate that. Okay. Then I put two cogs in here. There we go. Now it should be capable of crushing. Yes. Okay. We now have a functional crusher. We have functional belts. And are they pulling? Is the belts pulling the right direction? Because I should be able to just flip this over if they're not. They're not pulling the right direction. But that's okay. If I flip this over, it should just be the opposite way. Bam. So can that still? Can this still crush? That's my question. Can this still crush when it's flowing up instead of down? Uh, let's, let's chuck in a cog for now. Let's see. It can't. Interesting. So I have to make another another gear shift. Hello? What's happening? Give me my thing. One more gear shift, and this one we have to put on the belt somehow. I know how. Okay. That can't be there. This has to be on that. Now... I 
can remove this and remove this. I'll put a second shaft down here. I'll have the two cogs here and then the motor on that. So, one more cog. I just need a piece of wood. Bam. Okay. That can relay it straight up. Bam. Then we can put the motor back on it. Okay. Fuck you two, then. Bam. And now we have to bring this room out one more block. I really shouldn't be using steel for this, but oh well. I'll go around to the outside and clean that up at some point. Now we set you to 50, going this way. 51, whatever. I need to make another redstone torch, or I, I can... I can make a lever instead. Is that not how you make a lever? There's some way using parkour you can climb walls, but I still don't know. Okay. We gotta power this gear shift. Actually, that gear might... Let's hook it up to power. That single additional cog might do it for us. Let's see. No. No, it will not. So if I put this here... No. If I do that. There we go. And now, it can push stuff in to be crushed. Okay. We're good to move on to finishing the structure now. Sort. Let me dump a bunch of crap. Give me spruce planks. I have some spruce logs. I have steel. I have scaffolding. I need glass and scaffolding. pretty good for that. I'm gonna close the sides in with steel. Somehow put every one of my tools up. We need to close the back end. Scaffolding. The scaffolding won't do because it'll catch block drops. That's fine. I can live with that for now. No, I can't. I'm a liar. Bam. Bam. Okay. It's looking pretty good so far. Give me... I want to do spruce here. spruce here. Bring it up to the ceiling. This one needs to be spruce. Okay. the ceiling and that up. I want to close this in. Bam. Close that and that. 
bam, bam. You are, oh, that's, that's lovely. That's new. Just in case, I'm gonna stick some torches in the machine and in the area of the machine. go. Okay. That looks pretty good so far. Now, give me my torches. Give me, I have some more steel. I'm going to make a door. Just going to put a double door down there. Just close this in fully for now. I can make an access point if something goes wrong, but I it should be pretty good. Okay, and nowhere in here can't have that. there's some other way I could give this power? Let's see. Items that come through. This should be fine. Just like that. There we go. Then I can close that in and I have an access point to get in right here, just in case. Again, more torches just for safety. There we go. Now, let's go grab some equipment and let's test it out. Specifically, I want to scrap a bunch of the old... bunch of this crap. Let's see. Dark rod, some bunker steel, uh, bow and arrows could be good for string pieces, but not particularly. I want to scrap these void metal pants, this is the rest of this void metal gear. Okay, steel sword, stone hope. Steel Leaf Sword. I want to scrap that. The Slander and the Saw I kind of need. Let's scrap some of this. Uh, that's my good pickaxe. And let's just get a whole bunch of this iron gear here. Okay. So we should be able to just... I did it again. I did it again. If we just throw all these things in this chest, it should just process all of them down into their parts. So if I just... There we go. It's moving items up. And stuff is getting crushed. Okay. What? Is it just incredibly slow? Hold on. <sighs> okay. They have to be spinning into each other. Okay. Okay. 
items can be inserted by automation. Alright. Can this stuff... Oh no, it's just very, very slow. Because of my magnet, right? My magnet's keeping the items away from the belt. There we go. We're getting iron dust, iron ingots, iron nuggets. I assume it's already emptied that chest and filled up that barrel. I actually want to switch to basic logistical transporters, I think. That one is too fast and it kind of jams the whole system. Why? How long has this been frozen? Hello? Okay, well... That'll be it for this episode. I'm gonna crush a bunch of the old gear and crap we have off camera. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.